Bruce, turn towards me. Turn towards me. What's going on? This is Les El Platino. So today's video is about the beginning scene of my 1950s style monster sci-fi movie entitled Watch for Snakes, Scorpions, and Everything Else. I'm gonna break down the scene, my thoughts behind it, who the character is, what he does. So what I'm hoping to accomplish with this opening scene is to introduce the character. And my character's name is Bruce. He is a soon-to-be father and we'll learn after this scene that that is something that is worrying him. He's a stuntman in his 40s and his body is just not what it used to be. It takes him a long time to recover from a stunt. Although he enjoys his line of work, he's a freelancer. He doesn't make that much money at it and it's not steady and he can see that what he's doing is not gonna be sustainable especially having a kid. He knows that by the time his kid is five, he's gonna be on crutches or he just won't be able to play with her the way a father would want to play with his kid. He wants to be active with his kid. So this scene is kind of uh, the setup uh, to his character. And after this scene, you start to learn a little bit more and more as to his worries and the kinds of things that I know I was thinking about when I learned that I was gonna be a father. Uh, I freaked out. I freaked out and I was like, I gotta get a real job immediately, a real job, a nine to five, something steady. So that's gonna be something that this character, Bruce, is going to struggle with. And then all hell breaks loose when he encounters snakes and giant scorpions and aliens and the military and possibly dying in the desert. So yeah, that's gonna be a part of Bruce's journey. While he's doing all these things, I want the audience to root for him and I want the audience to be on his side because at the end of the day, he's just gonna be a guy who just wants to get home to his wife. And even though he is terrified about becoming a father. He's terrified about it because he wants to be a good father. All right, so I'm gonna break down the, um, the beginning of my movie. I'm gonna give you a little information about the main character and the why I'm starting with this scene, um, what I'm hoping to accomplish with it. So here we go. So this is Bruce. He is a stuntman, a movie stuntman and currently he's working on an independent film out in the desert. And for this scene, <clears throat> he's going to, <clears throat> for this scene, he's going to roll over a car. He's gonna get hit by a car, roll over a car. Those marks that he's wearing, those are mocap points. What the production is hoping to do is turn him into some kind of monster, but he still has to perform the stunt. Pretty silly stuff. So right now the backgrounds are not necessarily the backgrounds that I'm gonna be using for the film. Um, so we'll see if these remain. I'm not somebody who writes jokes per se, but I like to make fun images and I like to create images that'll make people laugh. So, you know, something like this is in that vein. It's just a silly, stupid image, but I think it's pretty funny. I like it. Um, it was pretty fun to, to film, but yes, this is gonna start off my movie, this scene right here. <laughs> right now, as I make this movie, I am playing all the roles. So right there, right here, you see, um, here's the director. Here is the effects guy. This is the producer right here. Uh, the guys back there with the umbrellas are PAs, production assistants. <laughs> and uh, this is the AD right here. And I might actually have some more people like walking by. Maybe I'll have a craft services table in the background. 
Um, but yes, this is supposed to be an independent film crew. So it should be small and kind of like ragtag. But doing this, creating this scene helps me visualize it. Cap, uh, monster on there. I just want to, I just want to get an idea of it. Just give me one second. Tell him to turn towards the camera. Bruce, turn towards me. Turn. So right there, just looking at how I edited the scene together, I know I, I need to film a little bit more because I want to create a shot that communicates to the audience the distance um, of where the camera person is and where Bruce is. And I think that's important for the audience to be able to see it. I mean, I think you get it, but it'd be a lot better if you can actually see it. Um, towards me. Turn. Stay there, stay there. So this is the effects guy doing this thing. I don't know if I'll use like an After Effects interface or if there's some, I mean, it's a movie, not everything has to be real. Um, but I like to bring it as close to accurate as possible. Um, but yes, in real time, the effects guy is gonna create, uh, it's gonna show the director what the monster will look like, you know, with the motion points attached. Right now I have this holdover image, it's, it's pretty silly. Um, but this is essentially what's gonna happen. The guy's gonna type in some keys and boom, Bruce is gonna be turned into the monster. And they show it to the director. What do you think? Are you happy with it? Looks okay. We'll get with that. Okay, well, let's let's roll it because uh, we're behind schedule and we gotta get this going, okay? We still have a lot more to do today, so um, I suggest we shoot this and move on, okay? Okay. All right. Now, my, t my acting is terrible, all right? I do not pretend to be an actor. Um, <laughs> but for the purposes of this movie, it's helping out. And one thing that I learned immediately when I put this together is that I need to, when I direct the actors, I want to direct them um, in order to perform their roles how it was done back in the 50s. So I want them to research um, some movies or some clips or the actors, you know, they have that kind of talk like, well, Sally, if you, you know, it's like a hyper, um, hyper realistic type of acting. It, it's, it's, it's realistic for the time, but it, it's not, you know, after Stella Adler and Brando and all those people came around, like, it's definitely not the kind of acting that you see nowadays. So I need to, uh, that's something that I learned from putting this scene together is that when I get the actors that are gonna replace the roles that I've played in here, um, I'm gonna make sure that they have that rhythm and that they speak in that manner um, for the final movie. All right, everybody places. I feel like I should say that even though I'm making a 50s well, it's a 50s style monster sci-fi movie. Um, I'm not a purist, okay? I'm not trying to recreate that kind of movie exactly. Um, that is like the flavor that I want, but this movie's gonna have cell phones in it. It's gonna have modern um, cameras in it. Although, here, let me, let's see. Let's get to the camera guy. And If you're a filmmaker, that right there is a mini DV camera. <laughs> nobody uses or nobody should be using mini DV cameras anymore. This is like, I believe this is the second camera I ever owned. Um, this mini DV camera right there. Um, 
which is still a lot newer than what they were using back in the 50s. So all that to say, even though I'm making a 50s style sci-fi monster movie, there's gonna be a lot of modern elements in it. And Action. Now that sequence right there is very slow. I will edit it to be a little bit tighter, to have a little bit more suspense for the final. But you get the idea. There's gonna be a buildup to the moment where the director says action and boom, the car takes off. And again, I'm not sure if these are the backgrounds I'll be using. I might use, I might create some miniatures. I might create like a small miniature set of the desert. Cause originally I wanted this scene to take place on the highway. So, and I, I bought this tape, this tape, well, the tape it looks like a highway. And I have um, the sand, I have the pebbles. I have all these materials um, that I can use in order to create um, a small desert highway set that I will still shoot against a, a green screen or in front of a green screen uh, for like the, you know, the further panoramic view. But where this is going to take place, I probably will recreate that set. I I think I still want it to be like a desert highway. This looks okay. I guess this kind of works. I, I would have to place the car a little bit better and Bruce a little bit better and do some masking of the plants and things like that. But I don't know, I'm not 100% sold if this is what I want or if I'm gonna create the, the desert highway set and you know bring all the characters, the director, Bruce, the car. I feel like I'm gonna do that because part of what has me jazzed up about this film is that a lot of it will take place in, you know, against miniature sets or set. A lot of the sets will be miniatures. Um, so I could, I should continue in that train. Action! And there you have it. That is going to open my movie. I'm finding it sort of challenging to figure out how I'm going to have Bruce tumble over the car for this stunt. So I th what I think I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do it in still images, which I think will work. I'm hoping will work and each still image will be an image of him tumbling over the car and a title until the very last title directed by Les El Blatino Sin and Ninja. And at that moment, cut to him landing on the ground and just maybe someone will ask, Bruce, are you all right? And he'll say, yeah. And then somebody else will yell back to one, which is means that they're gonna do it again. And Maybe he's not too happy about that. I don't know. This is the scene. This is the scene that opens my movie and I'm very happy with it. I have learned so much. I have gathered so much information from this. Uh, and this is how I'm gonna make my movie. Piece by piece, like this. I'll play all the characters and once I finish the film and I'm happy with it and it's got a good rhythm and it's got a good narrative and each shot communicates what it needs to communicate um, for the scenes to be successful. Um, once I have all that down, then I'm gonna cast it with real actors, people who will 
be a heck of a lot better than I am. And, and uh, I think uh, this is a really fun movie experiment. A fun way to make a movie, perhaps a unique way to make a movie. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I have more videos, please check them out. I hope you're getting something out of watching these videos. Leave a comment down below and subscribe.